Batman is an amazing hero who has fought against literal gods and won, which considering he is just a mortal man is pretty impressive. But he usually beats up more powerful enemies through strategy, planning and using his insane wealth to get technology to give him an edge. But even without all of this, Batman is still one of the greatest hand-to-hand -hand fighters who has ever lived, as he has spent years travelling the world learning different fighting techniques in his war against crime. But even when you're at the top, there are still those who can beat you in a fight. And I don't mean Superman or Darkseid, no, there are ordinary humans who are just as skilled as Batman, some maybe even more skilled. And this video is going to look at 5 warriors who are able to take Batman in a fair fight. No superpowers, no over the top gadgets, just a hand to hand fight. So we're excluding all those literal gods because, let's face it, in a hand to hand fight, Darkseid clearly has the edge. Ra's al Ghul Ra's al Ghul is a master warrior who is centuries old and that gives him an incredible edge. After all, if you train for 10,000 hours at something, you are a master at that task. If you train for 100,000 hours, then you're the best at it who has ever lived. And Ra's al Ghul has certainly had the time to master all forms of combat. So the question isn't, can Ra's al Ghul beat Batman? Instead, it's, how does Batman ever beat Ra's al Ghul? Seriously, Ra's has trained in more fighting techniques than pretty much anyone who's ever lived. Give or take the older mortal here and there, of course. But on top of that, he has the Lazarus Pit keeping him fit and healthy and in his prime. So the fact that Batman has been able to beat him in fair one-on-one -on -one fights really goes to show just how good and how dedicated Batman is. After all, Batman has only had one lifetime to master combat, and he still seems to understand it better than Raish does, which is probably why Raish so desperately wanted Batman to be his heir. But still, the point remains that Raish al Ghul could, potentially, take Batman in a fight, and like everyone else on this list, it's not a question of whether they would win every time. Because not even Batman would win a fight with these guys every time. No, the people on this list are so skilled that it's still a 50-50 chance of win or lose. But Raish definitely has the skills and strength needed to land on the winning side. Lady Shiva Now, when anyone fights Lady Shiva, they usually start by saying pretty much the same thing. That she is the greatest skilled fighter in the world. Or words to that effect. And they say it because it's true. Lady Shiva is a warrior who stands at the pinnacle of what a human can achieve in terms of fighting skill. Now, whether she actually is the very best in the world is hard to say, as these things don't exactly come down to numbers that are easy to put together. Hell, you could be the best in the world and still get beaten by a noob if you're having a bad day. I mean, I bet even Batman doesn't fight that well when he's hung over. And since there are a lot of factors, I can't really say that she is the very best in the world. But what we can say for sure is that Lady Shiva is one of the very best in the world, on peer with anyone else on this list. In fact, Batman himself has said that her skill is unparalleled, which of course means that he thinks she is more skilled than him. And he would know, because they actually shared teachers over the years. They had the same master who taught them martial arts. So she has had similar training to Batman, but Batman still believes that she is better than him. And Batman does not admit someone is better than him unless it is 120% true. So taking all this into account, Lady Shiva should definitely be able to beat Batman in a fair fight. And like nearly everyone else on this list, she has beaten him before, and he has beaten her before. But if they fought in a real one-on-one -on -one fight, no one knows who would walk away as the victor. But it could very easily be Lady Shiva. Deathstroke not only is Deathstroke a great fighter, but the trailer for Arkham Origins has one of the best superhero fights ever made. The fight has Deathstroke vs Batman, and I just seriously love the choreography and animation of this fight, because it's incredible. But that aside, Wilson is an amazing fighter. He was trained by the US military, and then by decades of being a mercenary. The only problem is his healing factor gives him an unfair advantage and I did say that no superpowers are allowed. But even without the healing factor, I do believe that he is skilled enough to potentially defeat Batman. In fact, in the Arkhamverse, Batman has allegedly said that Deathstroke was the toughest opponent he has ever faced. Sadly, since there's no way of knowing what he is like without his powers, I can't really count him. Especially since his powers also boost his strength, his skills and his stamina. So that gives him a clear unfair advantage. So we're not really counting Deathstroke, but I thought it was worth mentioning him because 
He is without a doubt one of the more deadly and skilled Batman opponents, and he's one of the most skilled men in the DC Universe as a whole. Bronze Tiger Now, this is a bit of a tricky one, because Bronze Tiger is one of the best fighters in the world, and in some continuities he actually trained with Batman, and Batman was never able to defeat him in a fight. Not without cheating, anyway. But in some other continuities, the character is beaten kind of easily by others. In fact, Deathstroke was very easily able to cut off his arm in the Deathstroke Knights and Dragons film. Now, admittedly, it was Deathstroke, but still, a warrior like Bronze Tiger should have more than held his own against him, especially since the fight was two against one. So, he's not at his best in this film. And basically, in more recent years, the character has become a bit weakened and watered down. He's been treated like a character who writers use because he's known to be a good fighter, but then they just have him beaten and disposed of pretty quickly without him ever really doing anything that cool or fighting anyone that well. But nevertheless, Bronze Tiger has had similar training than Batman and is more skilled than Batman, at least in certain continuities. And therefore, he can take Batman in a fight, as he has done many times before. And it doesn't matter that some versions of these characters are weaker, because we're looking at the stronger versions who have consistently appeared over the years in media. The Robins Trained by Batman to be the best there is at crime fighting, all of the Robins are amazing hand-to-hand -hand fighters. But could any of them actually beat Batman in a fair fight? Well, we're going to be looking at Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake and Damian Wayne Robins, so it's possible, because they are all great fighters. Now, Tim Drake is a fantastic hand-to-hand -hand fighter, no doubt, but personally, I don't think he's the best fighter in the group. In fact, I'd put him at the bottom of the list. He has always been the smarter one than the others and more of a detective, so that's really where his strength lies. So I'd say that he is unlikely to beat Batman. As for Damian Wayne, well, he is a great fighter and has had some of the most in-depth training imaginable. But he is still a child, and so that means Batman has a huge advantage over him. And yes, I know they have fought in the past, and Damian Wayne has managed to hold his own. But in truth, that is just because the character is so popular that the writers give him the limelight. And of course, he is Batman's son, so Batman is no doubt holding back. In fact, the best example of this is in Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, where Batman has been mind-washed and fights Damian Wayne without holding back. And though Damian does get in a few good hits, Batman ultimately wipes the floor with him. So Damian Wayne is not likely to be able to beat Batman. Next, we have Jason Todd, who, like the others, is a great fighter. And he has actually fought Batman before without Batman holding back. And Jason Todd nearly won. In fact, the Batman Under the Red Hood fight between the two of them is my personal favourite superhero fight of all time. Because it's just fantastic. And if you haven't seen it, go on YouTube and watch it, because it's amazing. But I do have to admit that Jason Todd does have a tendency to rely on his gadgets. And when they are taken away from him, Batman quickly gets the upper hand, which makes sense, as Jason Todd has nowhere near the level of training that Batman does. Yes, they did later retcon his story, so Jason Todd trained with the League of Assassins, I know, but that's still nowhere near the level Batman has been trained at, so I think Batman is more skilled than Jason, and he would walk away the victor more times than he would lose. Which leaves Dick Grayson, who is as close to a replacement to Batman as there is, and he has even worn the cape and cow several times over the years and done a pretty good job of it. But could he defeat Batman in a fair fight? Well, I do think he has the skill level to beat him, but since Bruce Wayne trained him, he does have a psychological edge over Grayson, which may mean Batman would always win, because Grayson always feels like he's Batman, therefore he's better. But still, out of all of the Robins, I think Dick Grayson has the best chance of beating him. And given the calibre of villains that Dick Grayson has fought over the years, and defeated, and that includes Deathstroke, well, I think it's fair to say that he could beat Batman in a fair fight, but it would be close. A good example of them fighting is, of course, in Batman Bad Blood, where he is fighting a mind-washed Batman. But again, it does come across that Nightwing is holding back. I know he's sort of making out that he's not, but let's face it, it's pretty clear he is. But even still, when he's holding back, he's still holding his own against Batman, so I think he could actually take him if it came to it. Adult Damian Wayne now, as I said, child Damian Wayne is held back by the fact that he is a child. And despite what people like to say, size does matter. Especially in a fist fight when one of them is a child and the other is over six foot tall, a martial artist and in peak human condition. 
Seriously, Batman has at least two feet in height and probably a hundred pounds in muscle over Damien. But like all of us, Damien Wayne will eventually grow up. And when he does, things change. In the Batman Beyond future of the DC Universe, Ra's al Ghul has died and Damian Wayne has become the new head of the League of Assassins. Although he eventually tries to turn into something less deadly and more based on helping keep humanity alive. But back when he was still in his wipe out a large part of humanity in order to save humanity phase, he fought Batman Beyond, Terry McGuinness, and his own father, Bruce Wayne. And Bruce Wayne says that Damian is not only as good as Batman was at his peak, but that Damian has actually surpassed Bruce Wayne at his peak and possibly become the greatest fighter who has ever lived. Now, this may just be fatherly pride causing him to exaggerate, but I doubt it. Batman is not known for much fatherly pride or for not telling the truth when it comes to someone's skill level. Not to mention the comic book version of Damian Wayne was enhanced to be more back when he was in the womb. And when I say more, I mean he was made as a superior human. He doesn't have superpowers exactly. His genetics are just more likely to make him stronger than the average human, more skilled, and possibly in his prime for longer. So it doesn't quite count as a superpower, but he is in peak human condition. And when we say peak human condition, we mean the very best that a human being can get to. And on top of that, he has been taught to fight since before he was toilet trained. So it makes sense that this version of Damian Wayne could take Batman in a one-on-one -on -one fight. In fact, this version of Damian Wayne could probably take anyone in a no superpowers one-on-one -on -one fight. And that is five fighters who can beat Batman in a fair fight. Do you agree that these fighters could all defeat Batman? Or are there some that you think Batman would beat? And are there any others that you think could defeat Batman in a fair fight, one-on-one -on -one with no superpowers? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store and to say thanks to all of you who donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.